one of my subscriber uh, asked me to destroy this ground so it's a good thing to make our game lot of more cleaner from hierarchy as well as from scene view it's a good thing to approach so let's do that to do so if i open up this ground parent game object uh, we wanna destroy it okay so if we destroy this ground parent the child will also be destroyed with him to do so uh, we have attached a two components to this box collider 2d okay uh, basically both of them is box collider 2d one of we made the size uh, the size of the screen and we set it this one to be triggered to true and the other one is the size of this sprite to jump on it so uh, what we want to do we want to remove this the size of this screen okay let's remove this box collider so right click on it and remove this component instead attach that uh, box collider to this ground parent because we want to destroy this ground parent so it will also uh, the child will also be destroyed with him so select the ground parent click on add component find over the uh, box collider 2d by typing and resize this collider uh, as the size of this is fine something like this okay uh, like this make the size of it to fit it our screen and set this one is triggered to true okay it's triggered to true and go to overrides and click on apply all so it will change in the prefab whatever we have done with this one uh, on the prefab means this prefab of game object okay whatever we have instantiating in our game so now we have done the good thing uh, to destroy it uh, let's open up the player script uh, by double clicking on it on create a separate script for it go to assets right click create she subscript name that to uh, specifically uh, something like destroy ground and hook that up script to player game object but i'm gonna do it with player script so double click that to open up up uh, let's use we said it is trigger to true as you seen so for that we will use on trigger enter exit function okay on trigger exit to the function so this function get trigger or get call when we trigger out from uh, from a certain game object so if i select this crown parent when we trigger out this green line or this box collider this function will get trigger or get call so and we can extract info whatever we have triggered it out uh, by going to this other so let's wanna print out the name whatever we have triggered it out uh, to do so type debug.log to print out a message in the console let's uh, we say firstly we will go over to other then transform the name of the game object and close that off with semicolon control s to save your code let's go to unity and select the console bottom and hit play okay so when we trigger out this box collider the name of the game object will be print out in the console because that function or that on trigger in exit 2d function get call when we trigger out with something okay uh, and make sure you set it is triggered to true else it will not work because we using on trigger exit 2d function select the console let's play in the top when we trigger out the uh, the message will be pop out in the console uh, ground parent because the name of the game object is ground parent okay so as you can see ground parent uh, name just getting pop out okay when we trigger out okay when we trigger out the uh, ground parent uh, game object just uh, printing out okay uh, so what we wanna do after five seconds we wanna destroy let's duplicate this one couple of time and we are not able to instantiate okay so we have done a some problem i guess um to fix that <coughs> let's add to ground uh let's add to ground also a game object okay uh don't uh, remove that component which is the box collider uh to re so let's resize is uh, this one as well as uh this first one uh let's resize this the size of the screen let's set it is triggered to true okay and the other one leave it as the size of this box collider or this crown leave it as it is and don't check this one is trigger for to jump on it okay and go to overrides and click on apply all uh, to save in the prefab as well uh, now it has changed it to 
uh, now if we hit play the error will be gone which will pop out our uh, ground in front of when we trigger with another collider and we also added a box collider to our ground parent make sure that and you don't need to uh, okay we did some mistake i guess if we go to uh, we said it is triggered to true okay make sure that and we added a collider if we go to ground parent uh, we also let's uh, resize this collider as the size of this uh, screen click on overheads and apply all let's go to ground one more time let's remove this uh, component okay uh, and remove this uh, both of this uh, instead let's attach bo both of those collider again uh, to do so hit this add component find box collider 2d and make this one the size of the sprite uh, sorry size of the screen and this one uh, need to be set is triggered to true and uh, add a second collider box collider okay and this one size will be the size of sprite or the crown and leave the is trigger unchecked okay so to jump on it and go to ground parent once again click on overrides and apply all okay now we have added to uh, so you don't need to play anything with this crown just go over to crown parent add a box collider 2d okay and make the size of the screen or make it uh, uh, like this and set is triggered to true because basically we want to use that now if we hit play the error will be gone so far now the game object of uh, of that will be print out in the console says uh, ground parent uh, because we just printing out the name game object whatever we have triggered it out by going to as you can see ground parent when we trigger out that game object okay so instead of printing out message we wanna destroy that while when we are trigger out okay so uh, assign this ground parent as a some specific tag before we uh, destroy it so select the game object go to inspector click on untag add tag let's uh, tag this uh, tag this as a ground parent ground parent save it and head again to that game object once again assign that tag which is untagged to a crown parent then click on overrides and apply all so it will change in the prefab as well okay in the prefab game object as well as you can see ground parent so that is cool thing whatever we have spawning so we want to destroy this uh, game object when we trigger out this box collider or this ground parent so instead of printing out message we want to check whatever we have triggered out if that game object has ground parent okay if that is the case we want to destroy that game object after some specific amount of type uh, time so let's use this if statement firstly we will check if that game object so if other dot game object dot tag if it's equals equals to ground parent okay ground parent if it's the case and make this curly brackets so this function get call as we know when we trigger out with something and we are checking over here whatever we have triggered out if that game object has tag okay ground parent and as we know we assign it that ground parent game object as a ground parent okay so we wanna destroy that game object so if we destroy this one the child will be also destroyed with him because those are child of our ground parent so to, to make the scene or the hierarchy lot cleaner so let's use this destroy function okay so destroy function will take the game object you want to destroy so let's pass whatever we have triggered it out so we have to pass other dot game object means the game object we have triggered it out and the second parameter comma you can specify the time after uh, how much time you want to destroy it let's uh, put five seconds so let's put five f and close that off with semicolon control s to save your code let's go to unity so after five seconds that game object will be destroyed when we trigger out that game object okay and uh, name the uh, tag correctly as you did to ground parent else it will throw us an error it will not able to try to find that game object okay so when it's done hit play uh, hit play okay hit play and when we trigger out that uh, game object which is the ground parent after five seconds we just uh, deleting or destroying it 
so just wait so now we triggered it out after five seconds you would expect to see this will be destroyed okay so as you can see after five seconds those game objects getting destroyed uh, okay as you can see after five seconds those are getting destroyed so that is cool thing to make the game lot more cleaner okay and the hierarchy as well so lastly thanks for watching this video go over to top left of your unity and save it we'll go to file and save it to save your progress okay so that is cool thing